Everything humans know of our planet, we were told had been shared. You lied to us. You've made a grave mistake. You need fire. I promise. It's over. I'm sorry, but it's over. Okay, Transformers 3, Dark of the Moon, Dark Side of the Moon, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah, I saw it today. No, I did not see it in 3D. <laughs> you think I'm going to pay extra money to see Michael Bay film in 3D? Hell, hell no. I don't care how good the special effects are. And the special effects were pretty good. Seeing Cybertron... There were some good things about the film. Seeing Cybertron was very cool. Shockwave was very cool. Uh, very, I was a very big fan of the, of the 1980s Transformers cartoon when I was a kid. So, yeah. I, I, I recognize Shockwave. That was cool. Um, Laserbeak. Very cool. Seeing Laserbeak uh, land on Soundway. That was very cool. Uh, seeing Megatron with uh, with this uh, cover over his head, that was pretty cool. It took me a while to, say, to figure out if that was Megatron or not. Uh, Megatron fighting with uh, Shockwave, with uh, not Shockwave, Starscream was very cool, very uh, close to the cartoon. Um, but, uh, let's see, the bad things, oh man, <laughs> I'll lose count of the bad things. <laughs> uh, oh, let's see, one other thing that was good. Uh, Bumblebee transforming around Sam Wiki. That was very cool. Uh, the bad things, oh man, uh, I'll lose count of the bad things here. Um, the bad things, I'd have to say the acting, of course. The acting is bad with Shia LaBeouf. With Shia LaBeouf. Uh, the... The scientist guy, I forget his name. The ro the little robots, Wheelie and now Brain, I believe his name is, that transform into a computer. He, they're both annoying. <laughs> I do find it uh, cool that Brain can transform into, into a computer, but it's just, they're both annoying characters. Um, let's see. I'm glad that uh, Skids and Mudflap are not in this film. They were taken out of it, of the of this film because of the a lot of people didn't like them. The Rose. Let's talk about the new hot actress that is in this movie. Uh, replaced Megan Fox. Rose Hut Whitley, I believe her name is. Uh, very sexy. Very beautiful. Bad actress. Well, of course, what can you expect from a Victoria's Secret model? Oscar winning performance? <laughs> uh, I think if Michael Bay, when Michael Bay was a director, said, just stand, just stand there and look pretty. You look beautiful! You look beautiful! Rose, oh, I love her. She's so sexy. <laughs> I don't know what make this movie really good. Let's get Patrick Dempsey in this film and John Malkovich. They're great actors. They can make anything good movies. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. That's what I, that's what I think went through Michael Bay's mind when he decided to cast Ma John Malkovich and Patrick Dempsey in this film. <laughs> Just was thinking that back when they're good actors. <laughs> uh, Malkovich was pretty good in the movie. Um, Patrick Dempsey was pretty good in the movie. Oh, there was a part where one of the black guys was going, I didn't sign up for this, I didn't sign up for this. I think I don't want to hear people that, I don't want to hear heroes fighting, heroes saying this. Oh, man, come on. <laughs> uh, Sentinel Prime was pretty good. Uh... 
also shocked by finding out that he betrayed, I know I'm going to say a lot of spoilers, uh, other reviews have said spoilers too, that he betrays Optimus Prime and the uh, Autobots. But then again, I've seen other reviewers uh, before I went to see the movie, because I don't mind being spoiled with, the, with a film like this. So it wasn't too much of a surprise. Uh, let's see, what... The, the part where the building is collapsing with the people in them and they're falling and everything is <laughs> very unbelievable to think that, yeah, most people could survive that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was wondering uh, how the people could be gliding in that scene where you see people gliding. And I was like, okay, wait a minute, they're there. It's the wings that they're using. The use of the... Um, the Apollo landing was uh, pretty good. Um, I think it's a bit much to uh, this. Like a, this is going to be like a second movie this year to like, use the '60s. Uh, the Excellent first class was the first. Uh, especially in other movies, using uh, reference to the '60s or reference to uh, some point in the past uh, as Apollo 18. Uh, that's just which is, I think is a, a stupid film. Uh, but this is a bad, bad movie. I don't understand why Steven Spielberg works with Michael Bay. I thought Steven Spielberg was a man with, of integrity. I thought he was a man of class. And for a guy, for a guy like that, that's why that's the impression I got from it, uh, from the film when he did E.T., when he did Close Encounters, when he did uh, Goonies and all this, and all the other good films in the past. I thought he was a man of integrity. And now he's doing films with Michael Bay, and I understand he's probably he's probably the only man that can get effects like this. But oh man, you can do so you can be working on projects that's so much better. You've done better in the past, Spielberg. Get, get away from Michael Bay. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, there are very few movies that I've seen that I consider to be good movies that Michael Bay has done. I, I liked I Am Number 4. I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of uh, Alex, of uh, that particular actor, Alex Petrofi, or whatever his name is. Uh... I liked the Amityville Horror remake a lot, and I, I hear that uh, his version of Texas Chainsaw Massacre is good, which I've never seen before. But really, the Transformers movies suck. Oh man, and he's supposed to be doing a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie soon. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, he's gonna, the turtles are going to be looking like snapper turtles. Oh god. Oh man, that's got to be terrible. <laughs> oh, oh man, don't... If you're going to see this movie, do not see it in 3D. Seeing it in 3D is pretty... I, mean, it's, I guess the, the special effects may make it worth it, but this is Michael Bay. Don't pay that much money to see a Michael Bay film in 3D. And people just want to say that uh, Green Lantern was one of the more, was uh, probably like the worst movie of the year. No, Transformers, Green Hornet, those are like the worst movies of the year. Green Lantern wasn't that bad. <laughs> uh, all right, that that's enough of uh, the Transformers. Ugh.